Hi everyone, today I want to review my own app for iPhone that is live on the App Store right now. I'll try to be as impartial as possible. Let's talk about the software idea, advantages, disadvantages and what it took me to put my own app on the App Store. The app is called Wordface, link in the description. Its purpose is to help remember some words, for example for those who are learning foreign languages and struggling to memorize new vocabulary. So you create a watch face, add words to it and then install it on your Apple Watch. You can choose from pre-built words sets or add your own. Obviously you can write down anything that matters to you. The learning system it uses is called interval repetition and with custom watch faces you memorize things just by watching the time. The words and sets are dynamically changed when you raise your wrist or tap the screen, which is a standard Apple Watch functionality. Ok, so it took me one year to get from concept to publishing. The main idea always was making Apple Watch useful for the rest of us, as not everyone is really in sport and fitness, but actually want to squeeze useful features from their Apple Watch. Learning new languages with a smartwatch is a smart move. What's also a smart move is when simple but useful utilities do not cost all the money in the world and do not suck money all the time, like those reminders or weather apps or whatever that ask for a subscription. I don't like it, no one likes it, so my app is fixed cost, no subscriptions. I think it's the first advantage. The second one is that you can customize watch faces here. You can add your own wallpaper, change watch face style, text color or even hide second row of text, which is supposed to be for words definitions. If you want to delete standard collections or wallpapers altogether, you can safely do it and then bring them back if you change your mind. I also included automation shortcuts so that watch faces could switch automatically for a user. The first way is to configure a shortcut to run on the automation tab in the shortcuts app. The second way is to add a shortcut to your current watch face on Apple Watch as a complication. You can also add a shortcut as an iPhone widget or ask Siri. Summing up, here are the good things in Workface. First, it offers a great learning mechanism, it makes customizable watch faces, it offers some automation and there's also no costly subscription. However, it's not without its flaws. Watch faces themselves on Apple Watch are a little buggy, as well as iPhone Apple Watch syncing. On my Apple Watch Series 7 I can add watch faces from my app without any problems, but my Apple Watch Series 3 with old watches stubbornly refuses to sync. In general, syncing any watch faces with iPhone is not instant, although I understand that it's not my app's fault. Also, there's a portrait type of watch face. While it's available on all modern watches, Apple Watch 4 or newer, these watchOS 8 or newer are required. This is why watch face app always shows an alert when portrait type of watch face is chosen. For sure, it was challenging to iron out all the bugs and complete this project. As always, initially I thought it is a matter of weeks, not years, but here we are. Besides, Apple sensors delayed my app's publishing, although I was not surprised by that. But now, here we have a great utility for Apple Watch owners. If you want to memorize something or kind of eager for new useful apps for Apple Watch, then Wordface is for you. Like really, when was the last time you heard of a great new app for Apple Watch? Thank you for watching this video, be sure to subscribe and let me know what do you think about Wordface, any ideas or criticism is very welcome.